Digital Equipment Corporation. It was a great honor to work for Digital. It was a company to be with. Just tons and tons of camaraderie and teamwork and working together to find solutions. The excitement is what I remember the most. Uh, the excitement of uh, being at the top or very close to the top. The excitement of new products, uh, new services. I'm part of it and that makes me proud. talking to me already. Right. <laughs> Hello there. I'm now going to show you how to operate this computer. First, find the go bar and press it. No one was in any mood to start a company in 57. We went to American Research and Development Corporation, who were in the business of starting companies. So we went to them and made a proposal that we want to make computers. They, uh, they were fascinated. So they had us go to their board of directors. They said, don't use the word computers, because Fortune magazine had said no one's making money in computers and was not about to make any, so we didn't make, use the word computers. We said we'd make modules. And they said, promise fast results, because most of the board was over 80. <laughs> <laughs> so we promised to make profit in a year. They ended up giving us $70,000 with the right to a loan beyond that. That $70,000 lasted us for about eight years. We moved into the old mill. The mill was just an ideal place for us because it allowed a lot of expansion. We had no idea we'd expand so much. We had great visions, you know, but nowhere like it happened. I was looking at an old news release a couple days ago, and the local paper, when we started, said, we look forward to hiring 10 people and eventually going to 40. Uh, conquered by this entrepreneurial spirit, by the fact that people could make a difference, uh, the passion for winning. For me, it was always the possibility and the opportunity for the individual to take responsibility. You always have had a team around you which makes you able to take the risk. Those values became my values, became part of who I was uh, and, how, and part of who I am today. Out of these, the, the LA-36 printer, the VAX, the PDPA, mission critical support services, Stecna, Ethernet. We can do it now. Together, there's no telling how far, how far we can go. Why wait until When I first started, computers were things that were behind glass doors, uh, glass windows. People were in there working on them with their white coats, and they're very standoffish. In the hotel business I was in, I was running stuff on PDP-8s and PDP-11s. People were still running on IBM 360 batch systems. I was running in real time. Uh, that's a big difference. I mean, we were light years ahead of what was going on. And we're a leader of many computers. We have. 38% of the mini computers, and we want 38% of the personal computers, or 40%, or whatever it takes to be number one. And in that marketplace, that means to build a business that would be by 1985, fiscal 85, three and a half billion dollars. The plans are currently to build over 120,000 small systems the first year. And in the whole computer marketplace, where it doesn't really do a good job, then the Japanese will walk away with it. And believe me, we can't let that happen. I mean, we absolutely can't let that happen. The American public, if it gets in their head, 
the idea that the Japanese make a better product. Once they believe that, you're finished. You know, we only are successful if every person here is committed to making this program successful. Because every one of you has an opportunity, every, almost every day, to make a major difference in the program. In 1957, a team of three engineers at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology designed a revolutionary new computer, the TX-0. One of those engineers, 30-year-old Ken Olson, was inspired by the experience. $70,000 and an idea, he founded Digital Equipment Corporation. The PDP-1, Digital's first computer, launched a virtually unbroken string of technical and financial successes. The PDP-6, a time-sharing computer, created by four engineers, including Gordon Bell. The PDP-8, the world's first mini-computer. The popular PDP-11, still the best-selling mini-computer ever. By their 25th anniversary, Digital had become the world's second largest computer company, with 68,000 employees working in 39 countries and five continents. Right now, there's several tremendously creative projects going on. The personal computer, that's one. Now we go on to others. Each one is a danger. Danger that we're not bright enough. Danger that we don't see it correctly. Danger that someone gets there earlier and does a better job. But then life is filled with danger. What we do today, tomorrow sounds old. Tomorrow, there'll be a new challenge. 